Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you a sleep spray that I created for my son recently. He's been fairly restless and I would assume it's due to maybe a growth spurt or growing pains or maybe a developmental milestone. So um, using the Modern Essentials book, I looked up sleep and insomnia and came up with a blend using Serenity, which is the restful blend. Sorry, the lighting is not the best. Um, second of all, I used Pettigrain. And it comes from the bitter orange, the leaves of the bitter orange. And then um, I used Spikenard. So if anybody's familiar with Valerian root as a supplement, this is similar. It comes from the same um, family of plants. And then lastly, I used Bergamot. It uh, has a citrusy scent and is also very grounding, and it helps to get rid of some of that earthy smell from the spikenard, which tends to be a bit overpowering. Um, I used a two ounce spray bottle. As you can see, the oil does tend to float on the top, so when you use it, you're gonna want to shake it so you can emulsify those oils in the, in the liquid. Um, and two, I added some Epsom salt to the bottle because it does help to suspend the oils in the liquid a little bit longer than if you just use plain water. Uh, but basically, I, I did maybe a teaspoon of Epsom salt, distilled water, and then the, the drops I used, I used mostly Serenity just because it has a more pleasant smell. Um, and it's, it is the restful blend, so it's great for sleep. And then, um, two, if you would be interested in, or if you're not a fan of a sleep spray, the there is the rollerball option. So obviously you would use a little bit less oil in the rollerball because it's only 10 milliliters and no Epsom salt. You would just put the oil in the rollerball and fill it up with fractionated coconut oil. And you could use that on your feet, on your spine, on your uh, pulse points, that kind of thing. Um, and two, I wanted to mention the magnesium in this is also great for relaxation. It helps to relax the muscles. So um, it can be very calming on top of the calming oils that you're using. So you get a bit of a bonus effect from, from the magnesium when you spray it on topically to your skin. Um, some of the other oils that I like to use for sleep are ylang ylang, marjoram, just plain lavender, always a great choice, Roman chamomile, if you can see that. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a pro here, lighting's not the best, and then sandalwood. Vetiver is also another great option that I didn't bring out because I am out. It's going to be going on my LRP this month. And then two, I feel that blue tansy might be a great addition to a sleep spray as well as maybe copaiba because of their um, calming effects. So if you are interested in learning more, feel free to join or ask questions at the Essential Living Community and feel free to experiment. It's fun. Um, like I said, smell of this is a little... Not my favorite, but uh, it does. It has helped wonders. He he is a lot less restless and going to sleep a little bit easier. Um, and and I haven't had to use it actually in the last couple of nights. We've just been diffusing Serenity, and he's sleeping. He's sleeping very well. So, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will chat with you soon.